Indian Railways has been an integral part of our nation. A network that has held together a population of nearly 130 crores. This self-propelled social welfare system is the lifeline of a nation which has interwoven an entire subcontinent together, bringing to life the concept of a united India. Indian Railways is the second largest rail web in Asia, over 67,000 route kilometers and also the world's second largest entity under one management. Boasting of a huge workforce of about 13 lakhs, it runs over 20,000 trains every day, carrying 22 million people daily, or the equivalent of one Australia daily. Believe it or not, Indian railways cover 10 times the distance from the Earth to the Moon on any given day. But where did all of this begin? After the harnessing of steam, the first steam-drawn passenger cum cargo train rolled out on the 27th of September 1825 and the Stockton and Darlington Railroad was thus opened. The engine, built by George Stevenson, pulled 36 wagons, including 12 wagons of coal and flour, 6 of guests and 14 wagons full of workmen. This has been recorded as the very first passenger train in the world in India. Finally, on April the 16th, 1853, a Saturday at 3.35 p.m., 33 years before the world's first car was driven, 23 years before the first telephone, and four full years before India's first war of independence, the first train in India and in Asia was officially flagged off between Bori Bandar, Mumbai and Thane, covering a distance of 34 kilometers. Let us undertake a little journey across the important landmarks.
We have just seen how the Indian Railways has steadily picked up speed over the years. But the best is yet to come. The bullet train is all set to take intercity train travel to another level. While the current trains take about 7 hours from Mumbai to Ahmedabad, this cutting-edge technology will drastically reduce travel time and significantly improve passenger comfort. It will run the 505 km route and touch a top speed of 350 km per hour, covering this distance in less than 2 hours. We are thus on the cusp of history and are set to join the select club of a few advanced countries in the world running such trains.